for the tarot 888 this message is for Sagittarius now you can have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart Sun moon rising Venus anywhere in your chart and Sagittarius this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece Sagittarius happy birthday we're entering your season so let's get into your energy I'm hearing the struggle is real for some of you guys at one point <laughs> At one point or another, even you was shocked on how far you've made it through these darkest times. I'm hearing challenges. Some of you have memories. It's almost like you memorize. You think back, you're like, shit, I can't believe I overcame these things. And it's almost like the betrayals were real. It's like you couldn't believe where they were coming from. And Sagittarius, it's almost like for some of you guys, you the last place you thought you would feel the abandonment would be from your inner circle. For some of you guys, these were even your parents that abandoned you. And a lot of you Sagittarius, you were you had done a lot for your family. If this was your siblings. Oh, man, you did a lot for these siblings. There was a lot of help that you you might have gave them growing up. Some of you guys even paid their school and, and some, you know, helped them financially. And it's almost like as soon as you might have got into a situation, they turned their back on you. And that almost made you feel powerless. For a minute, you were powerless. You know, and it's almost like, for some of you guys, you didn't even have this abundance. It was like they took your abundance. It says many options, and you just felt like just any, any, any person. And these are your closest people. For a lot of you guys, you probably... It's almost like you felt at a peace. You didn't understand how you were going to move forward through these difficulties. But I keep hearing the struggle was real. And for a lot of you guys, this is when you started to open up with your spirituality. It's almost like through this process, you realize one thing. Is that God, the universe, always had your back. Now, it might have not felt like that when you were going through your trials and tribulations or if you're going through them right now, but you're learning that God has never forsaken you. And it's almost like you might have not had him fight your battles like this right in front of you, like all of this. You were in your trials and tribulations. It's almost like you were being tested on your faith. But there was there was a there was something that you realized and through this process. And it had to do with you rising like a phoenix. It says a new phase, rekindle, new growth, change mind. And it's like rising from the ashes. It's almost like through these difficulties, even with not feeling the presence of God, you knew he had not forsaken you. You knew you were going to overcome these challenges. And you learn through this process on how powerful you are when you forgive. Because Sagittarius, you might have not forgave outside your inner circle. Maybe in, you had friends or, or acquaintance or business partner, you people you dealt with outside your inner circle that you might have not forgave. So you went through this phase where you where it's almost like you you had to learn how to forgive, let go. And it's almost like give it to God, because for some of you Sagittarius, man or woman, you would put somebody in their place. 
but the struggle was real. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, you dealt with people that just enabled you to, to do things you shouldn't be doing. It's almost like you were sticking up for people that you shouldn't have been. They were snakes. They wouldn't do it for you. And God, the universe had to show you, had to open your eyes. For a lot of you guys, you're learning how to let go <laughs> of the past. And look, when I'm here, the struggle is real. Some of you guys learn how to separate yourself from even your inner circle. And for you to put your full trust in God, the universe. For some of you guys, you were dealing with people that were doing magic behind your back. This could be you, Sagittarius. You might have done that to other people. And this shit backfired. But I'm feeling, and I'm here just from the, on the ancestors, you were dealing with somebody that was trying to control you. You know, whether it was through magic or, or whatever it may be, with your picture, whatever, you know, candles, but that shit didn't work. It, it gave you more protection. Look, time just kept clicking and people didn't understand. Why isn't that black magic working? Well, cause, because you're fucking protected and you, you're always ascending. You have this. It's almost like you keep reinventing yourself. The universe just keeps shielding you, moving you from one place to the other in the spirit realm or, or, or in the astral world or whatever they're saying. But look, and you have this devotion to the universe, to your spirituality. And look, the chaser, there's somebody that wants to come back in your life. And look, they want to seduce you. But Sagittarius, for some of you guys, you were just dealing with a control person, somebody that wanted to to seek control. They wanted your power. They wanted your energy. Fuck, oh, Sagittarius. Fuck, that struggle is real. Somebody wanted your energy. They wanted your power. Querían tu dinero. They wanted your money. <laughs> they wanted your money, but the universe said, no, no, no. We're going to take you somewhere else. And look, whoever you were dealing with, Sagittarius, boy, the energy's changing. It's like... Hell no. For some of you guys, you had to play the fool to, to, to outdo the fool. And look, you had to hide your abundance. No tengo dinero. <laughs> and their time ran out. Maybe they got tired of chasing you. Look, and this could have been a person you had an insane chemistry with. Or somebody had burning desires and they wanted to do amarres de amor. Déjalo marro con mi amor. And <laughs> That's called love spells. For some of you guys, you guys had... Somebody that was trying to do love spells on you and they wanted to create this passion. And it is crazy because it backfired on them. The, you know, the universe had already put you in a different location. And for some of you guys, the universe protects you. Believe it or not, you might be in the 3D world here, but the universe carries you and protects you when you sleep somewhere else. And you're just hidden in plain sight is what I'm hearing. But for some of you guys, yeah, their, their plans failed Big time. I'm, I'm hearing big time. Your, <laughs> your ancestors. Hold up. Mm -mm. And your ancestors are saying <laughs> they have been exposed. For some of you guys, these people have been exposed. And, and they've lost you for good. For some of you guys, they had addictions, you know. It's almost like they had codependency on your energy. They were obsessed. They wanted, they wanted you. And they were like a snake. Look, trying to be right there to try to get you in this situation. For some of you guys, if this was somebody you were married to in the past, this particular person was a snake. Yeah, you were married to them or you were going to get married to them. But look, they were just competing behind the scenes with you. Oh, I could be better than who? Who wants somebody that's going to co be competing with you in this codependent? Now that you're gone and you moved on, they want to come back and they want to talk to you, man or female. But they still are in this low energy. They're, they feel like they're not enough because you're not with them. Sagittarius, you already, look, evolved and growth like a butterfly. So for some of you guys, you just are becoming a social butterfly and they hate that shit. They look at how things used to be in the past and they want to pull up and give you a call. But their insecurities, look, man or female. And this is shocking. This is shocking. Sudden changes. It's like 
For some of you guys, Sagittarius, it's almost like you said farewell to your past and hello to the present. So some of you guys, yes, the struggle was fucking real, I'm hearing. And for some, for some of you guys, it's like you healed this broken heart. You healed this. Look, toxicity and addiction. So, you know, you healed some of that addiction. Maybe you were addicted to this person or they were to you, but you broke that. I'm hearing you broke that soul tie, baby. Yes, you broke it. And I'm hearing you broke it for good. And this is pushing you into happiness and joy. And for a lot of you guys, you're, you're dealing with somebody that wants to call you and wants to pull up. And the only reason they want to come back to you is because they see you in this energy of joy, happiness. And a lot of you guys, I'm hearing Sagittarius. For some of you guys, you guys are already, some of you guys have been meditating, saying your mantras, your affirmation. It's almost like you're saying bye-bye to your past. As you reflect on why things happen to you, you're slowly letting them go. It's almost like you're doing these, uh, you may be doing moon rituals and you're releasing, you're writing down some of you guys in two languages because you want to get rid of it in English and in Spanish or whatever language you're in. You're like, fuck that. I want to liberate myself from this past person. This could have been a soulmate, somebody you had a lot of love, but you're putting this to death. You're saying bye to your past and you understand for a lot of you guys, this is what's breaking you free. And this is why you have so much freedom coming towards you in abundance for a lot of, I'm just hearing you're so grateful for the spiritual lesson. And it's almost like you embrace the fact that it was all part of God's plan for you to experience this crazy nut, or maybe you are the crazy nut. However, it may resonate. God is still proud of you. The universe is like, holy shit, Sagittarius is is taking accountability because some of you guys, you tell God, thank you, Lord, for making me this crazy, for teaching me these lessons. I will do my best to change. And you do. And God sees how much you changed. You know, it's like you learn from your lessons and some of you guys fall back, you know, here and there. And it's normal. But the difference between you, you, you have a clean heart. You tell God, sorry, God, I fucked up again. <laughs> For some of you guys, this is your partner. I'm sorry, Sagittarius, that I fucked up again. And please don't leave me. And they're trying to jump through, you know, hurdles and all kinds of shit to be with you. To, and and, and they're, <laughs> what they're fearing is abandonment now. And you've already put your abandonment to death. It's almost like you overcame it. So now you have somebody coming back. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I don't know. Let's see. They want me to get some of these cards over here. Uh, which one? This one. Okay, this one over here. Yep. Some of some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that you're not paying attention to this particular person. Look, you walked away. And the universe is protecting you. They're pushing you in a new direction. And some of you guys don't want to go. You're slowly understanding, but God, why do I have to go this route? And you're totally in balance. Yes, you are, but some of you guys still question, and some of you guys have to leave some materialistic things. And the universe is telling you, don't worry. Trust. Trust in the process. Because look, I see you here. The universe is telling you, pick this one. Don't worry about that, because the devil will create illusions. And see, there's a big-ass pinnacle here. So looks could be deceiving is what I'm hearing. Don't judge a book by its cover. Some of you guys, you were dealing with a particular person that was judging you by how you looked. And they misjudged the fuck out of you. Holy shit. And they're realizing that you are a fucking chosen one. Excuse my language, but damn. I don't know, Sagittarius. But if you were dealing with somebody that misjudged you because this was you, this was you, Sagittarius, that was spending time with God, the universe, and it's almost like you were getting back and forth. That <laughs> I'm hearing you have a connection, powerful connection with the universe, with God. And for a lot of you, Sagittarius, they were envious. For some of you guys, they thought that you were just, 
I'm hearing childish, just like, oh, this guy is, you know, they didn't believe the connection you were building. And for a lot of you guys, look at the access you have to God, the universe. And a lot of them are freaking jealous. Whoever you were dealing in the past is jealous. Mm -mm. Envious. And this is, this is justice because for some of you guys, this particular person, look, was just juggling you, trying to go out there. And it's almost like they thought they could find something better. So you might have been dealing with somebody that was out here just in the streets. You know what? I have this option, this option. And for some of you guys, Sagittarius, you could have been with somebody that maybe you, you I'm here, you might have been married to a particular person. And during separations, they went on, a, you know, in their whole phase, man or female. And this is somebody that you really loved, that you had a lot of potential with. Even the universe might have directed this person. But look, you may be dealing with a Scorpio. But you put to death this situation. And it could have been with somebody that you really loved. Could have been, you know, somebody that you worked with. It could have even been a Capricorn. I'm hearing your neighbor. Or somebody in your same, I don't know, maybe you lived on the same block or something. But this particular person wanted control over you. Ah, no, Sagittarius. But for some of you guys, Sagittarius, you've already found your happiness. And the devil, look at the devil. They're going to want to lure you back in. Just take my hand. Let's do this one more time. But their, their intentions are to what? To trap you. I don't know, Sagittarius, if you want to do that. But that's up to you. Because for a lot of you guys, you're saying bye-bye. And you know it's hard to to push it forward. For some of you guys, you still want your past. But the universe is telling you that if you seek happiness, you're going to seek your blessings. And for a lot of you guys, this is going to take a little bit of work. And it's going to take a little bit of work and strength. Some of you guys could be doing with Leo, but it's going to take that lion, that energy of a lion to push forward. Yes, you could be nice at one time, but look, you got you. You don't mess around. You have to fight for your happiness. Ay, ay, ay. So some of you guys get ready for the next chapter of your life. You're going to co-create with the universe is what I'm hearing. And this is something that you're going to love. Look, this, they probably bringing this to my attention. Look at this. You're about to co-create with the universe. Put it in the comments, baby. I'm ready for my next chapter. I'm here in an abundant chapter, baby. Put it in the comments here. Yeah. I'm open for love. I'm open for my blessings. And you know what? A lot of you guys, in order for you to manifest, for you to bring in this love, because some of you guys at Terry's, you guys want love. And when you get the right person, I'm hearing, to be in love with, to be on the same page, to, to work with you, look, love and work. You're about to manifest big time with it. With him or her is what I'm hearing, but the struggle is real. You're going to have to work a little hard. You're about to co-create in, in, in Sagittarius. For a lot of you Sagittarius, the number 19 is going to be significant. They're saying 19. Some of you guys could be born on the 19th. Or the 20th. But Sagittarius... The universe wants you to let go. Your ancestors are saying it loud and clear. It's something about you having to make mistakes or you the mistakes you made in the past. They want you to let go. They want you to forgive yourself. Forgive the person that might have hurt or the one you might have hurt. But forgive yourself in order for you to manifest. Now, this is going to require you to, to what? To really Put that energy of forgiveness to God. The universe wants to see how much you really forgive. And it's not like I forgive. No, the universe is testing you. Are you willing to surrender to really forgive and to forgive yourself? Look, this card right behind it. For some of you guys, that's all that's blocking your blessing. You have a little bit of resentment. And the universe is telling you to let go. So the universe could drop that change, that coin. 
Some of you guys are finding this out and you guys have been in hangman mode and, and been sitting inside thinking, and I want to conquer the world, but you're still waiting for a sign. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that's just spying on you, that wants you, that did you dirty, but they can't figure you out. Sagittarius, why? Because you're not out there. For some of you guys, you're in the home and you're feeling like this and you're co-creating with the universe, but they have no access to you. So you have, Sagittarius, you have somebody that is just going crazy, trying to figure you out. They want to kill, steal, and destroy your plans, but the universe is, is <laughs> the universe is shining the light on this fake ass person. I'm hearing fake ass person. And that's why you wonder. Why am I still in this phase? The universe is protecting you. And for a lot of you guys, you've asked God for this protection. And it's almost like through this process of you being in the hangman, in, in this isolation phase, this is where you're, you're realizing God's presence. And it's, it's, it's putting you in this energy of happiness. Look, you're in the hermit mode and... Look how far you've came along and you're elevating. You're looking at things from a higher perspective, a godly perspective. And I'm hearing you're understanding how important your purpose is in this lifetime. You're understanding how important your purpose is and why you had to go through this heartbreak. And you had to go through this heartbreak alone. See, a lot of people don't realize how strong the struggle was. They see you in this energy. And they see you in this energy. Look, you closed the world. This is you just out and about. You closed a lot of major cycles. And it's almost like this, this card right here, when I saw it, it's almost like you feel God's presence. And you're understanding that everything you've been through as you meditate, everything you've been through, even though all the tears that you, you had coming down your cheek, but your third eye is giving you these downloads and you realize you had to face these difficulties. And some of you guys had to deal with childhood trauma. And it's why you have been reflecting on why things happened to you from childhood. And look, you've prayed to God through this process. Because some of you guys are part of the 144 is what I'm hearing. You guys are chosen ones. You went through these difficulties. You're here to break generational curses. And you're, you're here to help humanity on how you overcame your challenges. Because some of you guys, I'm telling you, I'm hearing like this. You guys are in this energy. And people don't realize that <laughs> there was this much heartbreak that you went through. And you were alone. Look, you were in the desert through the dark valley is what I'm hearing. And look, they tried to tear your heart apart. But your heart is so freaking huge. Sagittarius, you might have helped so many people. And the universe wanted you to see how ungrateful they were. But you have passed the test because a lot of you guys, even though the enemy and you saw the devil here has tried to put in your mind to be revengeful, to be bitter, to be unforgiven. You've let that shit go through the process and you started to understand your purpose. And look, you faced this shadow work. You trusted in God. Look, you tied your own hands and said, you know what? I'm going to trust in the process. And through this, you get communication from God, the universe. And people hate it. Sagittarius, how you're steady here waiting. Some people are wanting you to be in this. Where you don't know what to do, but they see you so calm. And this could have been you before. You didn't know which way to go. But look, this is you, obedient, waiting for what? For your downloads, for when to move, when to go out there. Cause I'm here, I'm hearing God's timing is perfect. And you understand that. And some of you guys, this is checkmate. This is you and your 
emperor energy. You know, you patiently waiting. God, when do I move? Look. And look where you're looking. You're looking towards God, the universe. You see that red light? You're getting your downloads. And this is you, patiently, man or female. Tara has no gender. Pinnacles coming to you. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Use that affirmation. When God, the universe tells me to repeat it in my videos, use it. There's a meaning behind it. You're going to get that vibration. And you're going to help other people. You're going to push that along. You're going to lead by example. How did this happen? As I overcame this hurt and pain by what? Embracing it with my spiritual journey. And for a lot of you guys, you're saying, I love my spiritual journey. And look, the universe even put a pillow right there. Baby, I got your back. Sleep with confidence that you're protected. And look, there's an angel coming in to all this negative bullshit that they sent towards you, wiping it away. The universe has always been there with you. And Sagittarius, here's your card, baby. You balance your emotions and what? Your guardian angel that it was assigned. And people hated how healed you have became. They're confused. How is Sagittarius so happy? Their plans to destroy you failed big time. It's almost like they empowered you. They pushed you into this, to this energy. And some of you guys have somebody that wants to come back after they see you rising. And they want union. They want union with you now, man or female. For some of you guys, you're just letting go. Letting go. You're realizing how powerful God gave you the ability to forgive, to let go, and to move forward. And, and look, and for you to just trust that when the towers come down, look, this is you just watching everything come down. And this is you trusting in within yourself that everything's going to be all right. Look, no matter how many times you fall, you always reach the light. And some of you guys are in this process of realizing this. Maybe this video is going to give you clarity. But you're letting go of what no longer resonates. Yes, indeed. And look, when you do that, tienes el mundo en tus manos. You have the world in your hands for some of you guys in your belly. But I'm here. You got the keys, baby. You got the keys to the street. You can do whatever you want. But it's up to you, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, baby, and put it in the comments. Look, you've healed from the past hurt. And you did this with passion. Because some of you guys, you faced it. You said, uh-uh, I'm going to heal my inner child. And you did. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Help my channel grow and comment if this is you. Because you guys are moving with confidence. And look, you're heading to where? Paradise, baby. Some of you guys are going to be traveling. You're going to be in this period of time where it's just happiness, joy, playfulness. And for a lot of you guys, you have a, we have a potential partner that is going to have, you're going to enjoy each other. I wish I could do the love portion because, man, I'm hearing mucho, mucho amor. Lots of love. The good love. The one that's going to kiss you from your toes to the top of your head, so make sure you get a pedicure, okay? All right. Because <laughs> it could happen this pretty soon is what I'm hearing. Infinite Tarot, 888. Hit the like button, share, subscribe.